Bruno, it wasn't necessary for you to come with me all the way to New York. I can take care of myself. I'm fucking 21 years old. I know you've been with me since I was 11, but I could perfectly defend myself back then. My first kill on my induction day had pretty much proven that. You were assigned to me just because you can control my actions. Don't worry. I won't kill anyone here. Not until the marriage is done. Jones, pleasure meeting you. Father had some business to attend to, so he couldn't make it. The Russian mafia has been keeping us all on the edge. Scumbags just can't get enough. They've been attacking on our border. I know, I'm losing my men. This can't keep happening. That's why we think it's better to join hands and fight together. Without interfering in each other's businesses. That's not going to work. It's too late now. Your business is ours and ours is yours. I'm aware of the situation. We'll fix that. You don't have to remind me again. Where's the girl? I am saying it respectfully. She's going to be my wife soon. I decided how to talk to her and about her from the day you fixed her marriage with me. Oh, here she is. <whistles> Shut up, Bruno. Cut off your tongue and feed them to the five German shepherds I've been petting. I'd like to talk to her in private. Do you mind, Jones? You're shaking. My dear, stop it. I said stop shivering. I'm not going to do anything to you. Stop. I hate weak people. Look up at me. I said look at me. We're going to be married soon. You're going to be part of Italy's biggest mafia family. You can't be weak. You have to become strong. So every time you meet someone from now on, you look them right in their eyes. Let them know that you're a part of the most powerful gang in the entire world. Good. That's a good start. Learn to keep eye contact. The minute you lose eye contact, they'll know you're not confident. Do you want to ask me something? Use your words. Okay then, I guess you've got no doubts about our marriage. Be ready. Oh, this suit's fucking suffocating me. Leo, take this blazer off of me. You're my brother. You'll do as I say. Mum's not even here. Just fucking take this off. Mum, this is stupid. It's fucking 35 degrees out there. I don't want to wear this. Are you listening to me? I'm hot. Take this off for fuck's sake. Mum, stop crying. I know it was your dream to see me get married, but it's enough now. I know you're happy. You've cried like more than 12 times today. Leo, do something. Just look out for when your time comes. I'm going to take revenge for this, you bastard. Father. Yes, we're ready. Let's get this over with. How long before she comes, Bruno? Leo, pass me that bottle. I don't know how much more I can take of this fucking burning suit. 
there she is, my bride. Take my hand. I know very well how to take care of her, Jones. You can leave her to me now. I, Diego Arcadi, take you as my lawfully wedded wife in sickness and in health, till death do us part. Mm. Look confident. Hey, it's okay. Relax. Look up at them, right in their eye. You're an Akadi now. You can't look weak. That's it. Good go. Of course, Mateo. We'll visit you so we can catch up soon. If you'll excuse us. I want you to meet our consigliere. This is Mr. Romero Scuderi. Of course, she's a beauty. She's the wife of the future boss of Italian Mafia. I know your daughter was supposed to marry me, but guess what? She isn't. I'm married now, so stop sulking, Romero. And if you mention her name in front of my wife and me ever again, I will kill you myself. Come on, they're playing music. We have to dance in front of our family. It's tradition. You look nervous. Do I scare you? Yes. <clears throat> I didn't expect you to be that straightforward. Why? You've heard stories about me. What stories? I'm a mafia. I'm not a good man. I've never learned to be a good man. I kill people, and that's how we survive. That's how your dad has lived. That's how my dad has lived. And that's how our son will also live. There's no escape from this life, but you don't have to be scared of me. I can't hurt you. I don't want to. Of course not. I'm not a good person. But I'm also not a monster. At least not for you. Do we have to love each other? I take care of my people. I don't love anyone. I can't give you more than that. What do you mean we'll see? You see the good in my eyes. There's no good in me. I'm Diego Acardi, the man who did his first kill when he was 11. I felt zero regret while slitting my best friend's throat with a knife during my induction in front of 200 gangsters. There's anything in me but good. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Keep your suggestions to yourself, Matteo. Yes, Leo, I know what to do. Fuck off. Yes, dickheads, all of you. I'm so glad I never have to do that again. Ah. Why are you standing there all alone? Come, sit here with me. Don't look so scared. I'm just taking it off because I'm hot. I have been since the minute I wore this fucking furnace of a suit. Aren't you uncomfortable in that dress? You can go change in the bathroom. What? Why are you looking at me like that? Don't we have to do more? Yeah, about that. I have been noticing you since my cousin started talking about our first night. 
You don't want to do it. You're scared. And I'm not going to force you into it. Yeah, really. Why? Because. Because. Because when I make love to you, whenever that will be, I want you to squirm under me with pleasure, not cry out of pain. Now go change in the bathroom so I can change too in here. Are you just going to keep staring at me? Or are you ever going to unfreeze? Look, when our relatives ask you about what happened tonight, you have to give them details. Of course they're going to want details. Tomorrow morning, all the ladies will gather around you trying to squeeze out details from about tonight. You have to be very careful about what you say. You can't say that we didn't do it tonight. You have to give them what they want. (sighs) This is nothing. Until a few years ago, they used to follow the bloody sheets tradition. After the bride and groom consummate their marriage, they have to present the sheets they did it on in front of the whole family to see if the bride was untouched. A virgin. I know. It's barbaric. It's it's fucking disgusting. That's why we stopped doing it. I want you to know, now that you're my wife, you're not just that. You've got responsibilities. Soon, I'll take my father's position in the gang. That puts you in a big position as well. I know you've been trained for that a while while you were growing up in New York, but this is Italy. Things are different here, a lot more brutal and inhumane. I have some business to attend to tomorrow. After I'm done with that, we can go out for dinner. For lunch, your family is going to want to have lunch with you tomorrow before they leave for New York. Let's go to sleep. You have a long day tomorrow. Good, you're awake. Get ready. We have to be down soon. Everyone is waiting for us. I'll meet you downstairs and don't forget to make up a believable story about last night. No one should find out we didn't do it. You get it? Good. Thank you so much for the attending the wedding, Mr. and Mrs. Vitiello. We will visit you next week, just like we planned. Now you have a safe journey. Finally, the guests are leaving, Bruno. How long before the meeting? An hour. We have to leave soon, get the car ready. We'll go to the race course first. I want to have a talk with our enforcer there. Okay, meet me in the front gate in ten minutes. Hey, what have you been up to, darling? Did they believe your story? Good job, you're learning fast. (laughs) 
You're getting bold. It's hardly been a day. I've got to be careful with how much freedom I give you. Oh, but I can. I have to leave now. I have some work to do. I guess I'll meet you in the evening. I'll take you to dinner in my favourite restaurant, so dress accordingly, so that we can leave immediately after I arrive. Mm. Bye. Bruno, have you made the reservations? Okay, great. Tell the driver to take up Leo's service. I will drive her to the restaurant myself. Do as I say, Bruno. I know very well how to protect myself. You look lovely tonight. That red dress really suits you. I'm really going to love showing you off to everyone. Look at me. If we want to make this marriage work, we have to talk to each other. We have to communicate. This won't work if you keep being quiet. You have to trust me that I won't hurt you. Stop being scared of me. Wait, come closer. Your eyes look puffy. Have you been crying? It's because your family just left for New York. You can you can visit them next week if you want. Yes, really. Oh, come on, we're getting late. This is one of the finest restaurants owned by me. The food is just mwah here. And what will you have? And I'll have a risotto. The waiter's hands were shaking. It's because he owes us money. Looks like my enforcer Mario did a good job handling him. He tortures and beats up people who owe us money until they paid everything with interest. What happens if they don't pay? We either make them pay by selling their organs or force them to work for us until they pay their debts. <laughs> oh, trust me. The majority have chosen to die instead of working for us. They know it's no piece of cake. Seems like you're getting used to this stuff. Still, your dad's ways and my dad's ways are different. New York Mafia and Italian Mafia is different. Our reputation in the world very well explains that. You've seen my Instagram posts. I don't date. All those girls on my Instagram, I, I only fucked them. Do I still do? Well, it depends on what you want. Looking at our situation and looking at how scared you were at the thought of doing it last night with me. I don't think you'll come around anytime soon. It'll be your decision, though. If you choose to never do it with me, I can get help from outside, but if you don't want me to do that, I won't. It'll be easier for you once we get a little closer to each other. It'll take time, but I'm willing to wait. This is the good in me. This does not count as good. You don't realize it, but this is way messed up. I'm just taking care of you, just like I take care of my men and my family. You keep trying to find the good in me. I'll take a fortune for you to do that. Remember this. I am beyond redemption. I gave you five months to pay your debt. Let me recall all the excuses you threw at me, one after the other. First, you said you needed money for your sister's marriage. 
I approved that. Next, you wanted to open a, a business, which obviously I knew would go to trash, but still, I approved. Now, you want one more month to pay your debt. Bruno, do I look like a fool? Or has he lost his mind completely? Do not speak when I'm speaking. You get that, you useless piece of shit. You want one more month? I'll give you one more month, but everything has a price, doesn't it? Bruno, pass me the pliers. Stop shouting or I'll cut off two of your fingers instead of one. Mario, put the gag in his mouth. <laughs> this missing finger of yours will be a reminder for you every day that you owe me seven thousand dollars this better not let you sleep at night get him out of here i don't want him in my house or anywhere near my wife Hey, wake up. Come on, sweetheart. Wake up. I have to leave for work in two hours. Hmm. I'll be late today. There's a match tonight at the old bar. I have to be there. What kind of match? A fight match. It's a one-on-one -on -one match that is held at our old bar every weekend. Do I fight there too? Yeah, often. I usually fight twice a month. I used to fight more, but now I've got more involved in handling the business. You want to come with me? To my work? No way. No way. No, no. It's too dangerous for you. At my workplace, there's gangsters, enforcers, romancers, prostitutes, drug dealers moving around freely. There is no fucking way I'm taking you there with me. You know what? I'll buy you anything in this world to keep you entertained if bored is what you're getting at home. Plus, my brother Leo will be shifting here next week. He's quite an entertainer. I can't take you to my workplace just because you are bored here at home. <sighs> oh, okay, this is how it's going to work now. You're just going to walk away from me like that. If I can't give you something that you want. What the fuck? This has nothing to do with me wanting to control your life. It's my workplace we're talking about. My workplace is a fucking casino filled with illegal stuff. You want to go shopping? No, you can't. Okay, wait. 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 Fine. This isn't just about my workplace. Look, come here. Listen to me. The Russians have been testing my patience ever since we got married. They're coming closer and closer. And closer to our border, with them being loose, I can't risk you getting into their hands. You and me are their main targets right now. I don't give a damn about myself, but I can't let anything happen to you. So just do as I say, okay? Even in our territory, we aren't as safe right now. Promise me you won't do anything stupid and sneak out. Promise me right now. I know this feels like I'm taking your freedom away from you, but the bitter truth is you never really had freedom. You can't have freedom when you're a woman and part of a mafia family. You're...
very well know that. I'll make this up to you, I promise. Come here. I won't let anything happen to you. What happened? Where, where are you going? Oh, yeah, that's blood. Fuck. I told Bruno to clean up properly. The blood. The blood is sort of a captive. Yes. There was a captive in our house. Bruno, you'll pay for this. He was locked in a dungeon in our basement. Fine, don't get all worked up again. I'll take care of this. No more captives inside our house from now on. I have to leave now. My cook will arrive in the afternoon, so she'll make you lunch and dinner. I'll be back by midnight. Be careful. Mateo, our drug suppliers are having some trouble crossing into our territory since a few days. Have you done anything about this? The cops are an excuse. We feed the cops with the money we get from the drug dealing. They are not the actual problem. Find out what the actual problem is. Leo, are you ready for the fight? It's your first cage fight. We've been preparing you for this for years. Good. Remember, no alcohol before the fight. You have to be in your full consciousness. The fight is not only about strength. When you enter that cage and look your opponent right in their eyes, you should figure out how you're going to win this one. Take some rest. You have to kill your opponent tonight. Tonight's kill will be considered your induction kill. And from tomorrow onwards, you'll be a part of the gang officially. I'll meet you at the old bar before the fight begins. And remember, father will also be there. So make sure to win. If you don't kill your opponent, father will kill you. your bags get all your stuff i'm getting you out of here we don't have time for questions just pack your bag for fuck's sake and come to the east wing my brother leo will take you to our farmhouse <sighs> the russian mafia some of their men attacked our old bar while the fight was going on don't worry we captured them all, but we have to bring them here. There's no other place that I can be firm they can't escape from. I know I told you there we no more captives in our home, but this is really serious. Just do as I say and get out of here now. Okay, meet me downstairs. Great, you're here. Leo, take her bags and drive her to the... What? You want to go to New York? No fucking way. I'm not sending you any further from me. Nowhere. I can't trust your safety. The Russians know about our murder. They can attack New York too. Why can't you understand? I don't care if that was your home. There's no one there I can trust. Why is it so hard to be reasonable with you? There's clearly no way you're even safe for the journey from here to the airport. I need to know that you're safe. If you're in our farmhouse, I'll know for sure that no one can get to you. That farmhouse is far away, in a remote place that no one knows about. You will be perfectly safe there. Look, as soon as I'm done with the interrogation, I'll drive to the farmhouse and be there with you. Even if you know each and every corner of New York does not guarantee that you will be safe there. Why are you so stubborn? Ah, I'm definitely going to regret this. But fine. You can go to New York. But on two conditions. 
You'll fly there in our private jet. And second, I'll send three of my trusted men with you and they'll be with you throughout. You can't leave your home in New York as well. Okay then, I'll call your dad and let him know that you're visiting then. I'll have to alert him about the attack as well so that he can plan how to keep you safe. Hey, come here. As soon as everything is fine here, I'll fly to New York to get you back home, okay? Don't try to get rid of my men and take care of yourself. I... I love you. That's right, it's me. Alive and in one piece. <laughs> hey. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I missed you. A lot. That whole week without you, with me killing tons of people out of rage and overworking my men. The only thing that kept me going was the thought of meeting you when all of this is over. And it's over now. Finally. Yeah, the past few days were rough. I was worried about you. I know you're okay. I'm grateful for that, but it was just hard for me. Not knowing if you're fine every second, it was almost intolerable. What did I miss about you? Everything, every inch of you, your eyes, your scent, your hair, the way you squirm when I look into your eyes, the way you get nervous when I come closer to you, but also get excited about how good I'm going to make you feel the way you kiss me. What is it? Oh, that. It's nothing. Don't worry. Come here. I told you it's nothing. Take off my shirt. <laughs> you finally realize you can't resist me, huh? Fine, I'll take it off. I told you it's nothing. It doesn't even hurt anymore. Yes, it's a gunshot wound. It's fine, I'm fine. I'm here with you now. But I'm not. I'm alive. Nothing has happened to me. I'm fine, trust me. <sighs> well, I can be dead right now too. Like, there could be a sniper right outside that window just waiting to put a hole in my heart. You never know. <laughs> Fine, I'll stop joking. I'll be careful next time, I promise. All right, now come here. Mm. Mm. I'm so glad I lived to taste these lips. Mm. 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 Just when I was about to finally consummate our marriage. Yes, Bruno, I know we have to leave. We'll be downstairs in 20 minutes. No, he would deeply regret it if he knew that he just interrupted a family tradition. Fine, I'll behave. We can continue this when we reach home. Meet me downstairs. Ah, finally back home. I'm so glad you're here again. Yes, I do have something planned for today. You've been through a lot these past few days, so today is 
just going to be about you and me. No business. No killing people. No Russian mafia shit. Just us. Now that I think about it, I've never really given you an official tour of our mansion. Come on, I'll show you around. This is the library. It's about two floors. There's an entrance door on the second floor as well. Next up is the garden. There's a pool where I usually swim in the morning when I don't feel like working out. This is the gym. If you can't find me anywhere else in the house, I'll probably be here. This is exclusively our wing. No one will enter this wing. The one on the left is my brother Leo's wing. He was supposed to shift here last week, but change of plans and he'll be joining us next week. You've already seen the kitchen and the living room and our bedroom, of course, so that's it. You want to take a walk in the garden? Sure. Take my hand. You're staring again. Just say that you missed me. It's not that hard. Hmm? You've never seen this side of me. Honestly, before I met you, I didn't even know this side of me existed. You're changing me. You're making me feel. No, that's not good. That's not at all good. I'm a mafia boss. I cannot feel. I'm not supposed to. The only thing I'm supposed to feel is anger toward my enemies and the sense of loyalty to my men and my father. Uh, I remember I said I love you before you left for New York. I was scared of losing you. I was so sure that either of us was going to get killed. I knew if I wouldn't say it that day, I might never get the chance to say it to you. Yeah, you didn't, and you don't have to. I know it's impossible to fall in love with someone like me in just a few days. It's totally fine if you don't want to say it back. I am supposed to protect you. That sense of protectiveness for you, I never realized when it turned into love. Hell, until a few days ago, I didn't even know what love is. What are you doing to me? You're driving me crazy. You're making me feel things that I haven't even learned to feel. <sighs> Feelings do make me weak. All this time while fighting the Russians and plotting every attack, all I could think about was you. If you were safe, if you were fine, had something happened to you, that's all I could think about. You want to be my strength, not my weakness. I don't know how to do that. I don't know how to control my feelings. I'm scared that I'll get so obsessed that I might scare you away one day. I'm sure we can figure it out. I don't know what... <sighs> okay, okay, I'll stop my ranting. No, oh, Leo, he's fine. He's a little shook about the incident in the old bar, but he'll get over it. He's dealing with it in his own way, but it's good that he was there when the attack took place. He needed an experience of what a real fight looks like. I know he might have gotten traumatized because of it, but that's what gives him a motive to join the gang. I've got no problem with it. He's a big boy. He can deal with it himself now. No, that's not why he hasn't shifted yet to our home. He refused to shift here just because I told him that if he wants to live here, he can't bring girls home. I won't tolerate any nuisance around you. 
Yeah, he's sulking. He's getting as much as he can before he shifts here. He did some tantrums about it. Made some decisions that pissed me off. So I brought him back on track. You don't have to worry about that. I'll handle him. What you really have to worry about is how you're going to escape from me. I have to take that. I'm I'm so sorry. I'll, I'll be back in a flash. Bruno, I told you not to call me today. Can't you just handle everything on your own for one fucking day? What is it? It was Bruno. My father. Someone shot him. He's dead. He's dead. My father is dead. He's gone. Am I okay? I don't know. I don't know what to feel. I don't feel like crying. I don't feel sad. I feel so numb. Why can't I feel anything? What is happening? I'm processing it. What will happen after it's done? Will I feel pain? Have a good tolerance for pain. No, no, no. I don't want to go inside and talk. Tell me here and tell me now. Why will I feel pain? Because I loved him. I respected my father. I never loved him. I told you, I didn't love anyone until I met you. No, I don't want to cry. Why do you keep telling me to cry? No, I don't want to let out anything. I don't cry. And I won't now. I never cared enough for him to make me cry. No, don't come closer to me, don't. No, it's not okay. Nothing is okay. This is all my fault. Fuck, fuck, all of this is my fault. I underestimated them. I knew something was wrong. I knew they are not the ones to sit quiet after a small attack. And now he's dead because of me. No, it is my fault. Stop telling me it's not. All of this happened because I didn't care enough to check the Russian mafia's movements. I, I caused this. Stop touching me. I told you not to come closer to me. I don't want to hurt you. You're the last person I want to hurt and I'm not in control of my actions right now. So just stay away from me, please. I need to get out of here. I can't stay here. Not even for a second. I I, I need to go. I killed them. I killed the person who shot my father. I killed the person who's the reason why my mother hasn't stopped crying since she saw my father getting killed in front of her eyes. I killed the bastard who has my brother traumatized. My 
hunted him down and I shot him till he was drained of blood. I killed him and everyone he ever met. I killed his family, his friends, his men who worked for him. And I killed the boss of the Russian mafia. I executed everyone who came in my way, slaughtering them with all the weapons that I had until I reached him and I crushed his throat with my bare hands. I took my revenge. I did everything to make sure no one related to the Russian mafia was alive. Why do I still feel pain? Ah, why isn't it going away? I took my revenge. I did everything that I could to justify his death. But why does it still feel the same? The pain is too much. It isn't going away. How do I make it stop? Please make it stop. <laughs> so much. It tears my heart apart knowing that if I'd done this sooner, my father would have been alive. Why didn't I do this sooner? <laughs> I don't know what to do now. How, how, how do I make everything stop? How do I make my mother stop crying? Uh, uh, uh. How do I comfort my brother? How do I handle everything in the gang? Why did he have to fucking leave so soon? Why did he have to leave at all? <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't understand. Everything is a mess. Everyone at the casino has no idea what to do now. They're waiting for my orders. I can't even think straight right now. Everyone is screaming and running, so frustrated. <sighs> Yes, yes, I went there alone. I killed them all by myself. No, I didn't care if I might have gotten killed. My mind was filled with rage, and all I wanted to do was to kill them all. You think I'm a monster, don't you? If you don't, you'd be here with me. I didn't you hear what I just said? massacred more than 200 people all by myself without hesitating for even a second you should be scared of me why aren't you scared of me you understand me how is that even possible how can anyone understand what I just did I d I am so exhausted. I'm physically and mentally worn out. I don't want to think. I don't want to talk. I can't keep my eyes open. Can we just go to bed? Hold me just for tonight, please. Thank you so much. I'm sorry I wasn't there for the funeral today. Bruno told me you were there the whole time with my mother and Leo. He also told me you took care of all the arrangements and the gaps. Thank you so much for everything. I know it's your family too, but it still means a lot to me. I'm not used to people doing good for me. 
and taking care of the people I care about. Mm. <sighs> Sorry, I just don't have any energy left. I'm so tired. No, I'm not that hurt. It's just some small cuts and bruises. No, please, you don't have to treat them right away. Can we do that in the morning? I can't move right now. I, I don't want to. Thank you so much for holding me. Promise me you'll never leave me. Please promise to never die on me. I won't be able to take it. Okay. Thank you. I can't sleep. It's hurting a lot. My thoughts, they won't stop. Now stay awake and hold me until I fall asleep. Yeah, yeah, I'd like that. Just just don't let go of me. No matter what happens, please don't let go. Mateo, I haven't seen you in a long time here. Care to explain where the fuck you were for a whole damn week? You do not get to come and go around here any time you like and any time you want. So fucking tell me what your problem is or I'll let my men choke you to death. Do you get that? Is this about the girl you've been seeing? Well, I don't see you handling it that well. You've been missing in action for a week. You know what would have happened to you if you weren't my right-hand man. I swear to God, Matteo, if you let my business get affected because of this girl, it better not. I don't like to kill my own men. I gotta go find Leo. Get to work. What the fuck, Leo? Who said you can fuck anyone in my fucking office? Get dressed, for God's sake. And you, get the hell out of here before I test my new rifle on you. What was that about? I said you can't fuck them at our home, so you're fucking them in my office. <sighs> There's only so much of your bullshit that I can take, Leo. I know you miss father, and I know you're struggling because of the incident, but your ways of coping with pain are getting ridiculous. Let's go home. I'm done for today. What is it? How did I survive all the pain? I didn't. Just got used to it. Where is she? She's usually in the living room at this time of day. Oh, here you are. What are you doing in the kitchen? You wanted to make something for me. Oh, love, you didn't have to do all of that. Our cook could have made dinner for us. Okay, but first, come here. I've missed you all day. <coughs> Did you miss me? You did. Tell me how much you missed me. A lot. Show me. 
<laughs> okay, okay. You've proven that you missed me. I can let you go now. Mm, yeah. I'm hugging you from behind and I can distract you all I want because I am your husband and I've got every right to distract you. What? Leo, what are you doing here? You were bored. So go and play fucking video games or something and don't ever, ever enter my wing without my permission. What did you just say? You don't ever talk to her like that. You get that? Am I clear? I said, am I clear? Don't even think about running away, Leo. I said, stay put. Leo, come back! Fuck. I don't know how to handle him. He's fucking 18 years old and he's this punk who always gets in trouble. I don't see how he will be fine. Mum has been really worried about him. I'm scared if I fail to train him, he'll go off track and get himself killed one day. Ah, fine, I'll stop overthinking. I've still got some work to do, so I'll be up in my study, okay? I love you. <laughs> Hey, love. What is it? Come in. Yeah, just some important papers to sign. Did you eat? Uh-huh. Sure, let's have dinner together. I'll just quickly wrap this up and uh, meet you downstairs, okay? Mm. So good, honey. I've got to say, I'm quite lucky to have you as my wife. Are you okay? You look like you want to tell me something. Okay, sure, let's move over to the couch. Okay, now tell me. Who do I need to kill? No one. That's no fun. <laughs> fine, fine. I'll, I'll let you speak. Go on. Yeah, I, I love you. I've said that a million times now. Yes, love. I will protect you. I will never hurt you ever. Why are you asking me all of this? You promised to do the same, but why? Because you love me too. Are you serious? You better not be kidding. You, you are serious. You actually love me. Really? Fuck. Yeah, um... You, you don't know how happy I am to hear that. I honestly thought you'd never fall in love with a person like me. Oh, come here. What, what, wait, wait, what are you doing? Are you sure you want to do this? You want to go all the way? I swear, I'm not going to force you. I want you to be ready whenever we do it. You're ready. Look, you don't have to do this if you're not 100% sure about it. Really? Okay. Well, come here. I love you so much. And I will protect you. Everything that I have.
Hmm. Baby? Baby, where are you? Oh, there you are. Come here. Did you sleep well? Yeah? Any nightmares? You haven't had them in a while, though. No? That's good. I'm glad you're sleeping well. Yeah, I just don't feel like working out today. Want to take a swim together? Come on, it'll be fun. We'll have some alone time in the pool. Just relax and have some fun if you want. Great, let's get up. so good, doesn't it? How have you been? Yeah, I mean, lately you haven't been feeling very well. Your body's weak. You don't eat properly. You keep throwing up every morning. Did you go to the doctor like I told you to? You did. And what did he say? I don't think that's what it is. Is he sure it's just a small infection? Okay, okay, if you say so. What? Do you want to tell me something? Yeah. Go on. You want to go clubbing? <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. No, no. I'm not going to allow you to go clubbing. Hmm. Hey, you do not get to do that. This won't convince me, love. Oh, fuck. Remember, you started this. You really do know how to convince me. Okay, okay. Fine, but... I'll come with you, and I won't leave you alone, even for a second. All right, let's get out of here. Listen to me carefully. Do not talk to anyone in there, even if they compel you to speak to them. Although no one will even try to lay their eyes on you, considering this is my club. If I ever manage to leave you alone, do not accept anyone's offer for a drink. It's probably spiked with roofies or shit, so they can get laid. Bruno, Amo, and Luca will be scattered around in the club, so if something happens, just give them a nod, and they'll be there. Do you understand? Okay, let's go then. What? You've never seen people dance like that in real life? Do you want to try? Do I have a lot of experience? <laughs> yeah, some. Let me show you. Hey, come come closer to me. Just, just follow my moves and, and let go. You're too stiff, baby. 
loosen up a bit. It's just me. It's okay. Yeah, there you go. Just do what you feel like doing. Did I do this with a lot of girls? Why are you asking that? Are you jealous? Oh, you definitely are. You don't have to be. You are the only one who can dance with me like this from now on. You own me, just like I own you. I don't care if it's toxic, it's us. Wait, is that? Listen, I have to meet up with someone. Why don't you go get yourself a drink? Bruno's right there. Luca and Amma are on the opposite doors. Just give them a gesture if something happens, okay? I'll be right back. Where the fuck did he go? Ah, what the fuck do you think you're doing, Leo? Yes, it's me. Do not fucking ask me, how did I know you were here? This is my fucking club. You think I won't find out what you've been doing? How many times have I told you we only sell drugs and make money from it? We never take the drugs. I didn't want to do this the traditional way, but you don't leave me a choice. We are going straight to home from here. You can't get out of the house for a month. No school, no parties, no clubs, and no bikes. You're grounded. I don't know. Why don't you ask him what the hell he's doing here? Fine. Let's talk about this at home. Come on, Bruno. We're leaving. Leo, why don't you tell her what you've been doing in the club? Okay, let me tell her. Drugs. This little motherfucker has been doing drugs in the club for who knows how long. Will you at least tell me what your fucking problem is? If you don't want to tell me, at least tell her. Fine. Fine. If you just want to stay silent like that. You can't get out of your wing for a month. You'll stay there. Roam around, play video games. I don't fucking care. But you won't get out of this house until I say so. You get that. <sighs> I don't know what to do with him. He's getting worse every day. You'll talk to him. Oh, love. Thank you so much. I think he'll open up to you. I've noticed he started to have a liking for your company. Do I like your company? You know I've yearned for it. Seriously, wh why are you looking at me like that? Have you had too much to drink? You didn't drink at all, but, but why? Baby, you've been acting weird since morning. First, the thing about what the doctor said. I know you were lying. I always know when you're lying. Now this, you love to drink alcohol and still didn't. Tell me what you're hiding from me. What kind of question is that? I'm asking you something. You just out of nowhere asked me if I'd like it if someone called me dad. Why would anyone call me? Oh, wait. Oh, no. No, 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 don't, don't, don't tell me you're, baby, seriously, you're, you're pregnant. Oh my God, I, I can't believe this, you're, you're actually pregnant. Fuck, fuck, I'm going to be a dad, we're going to have a, a child, can, can you believe this, we're going to have a baby. My mom is going to go crazy with this news, you have no idea how happy she'll be. Come here, baby. <laughs> oh, you've made me the happiest and the luckiest man in the world. I know our lifestyle is kind of different and not normal, but you still decided to stick with me and love me just like I love you. You've always been with me and believe that I'm capable of love, even if I did several things to prove that I'm not. You are the only reason that's kept me alive and going, and now our baby will do the same. 
I will protect you and I will protect our baby from everything and everyone in this world. And I will love you both with no bounds. I love you. Mm-hmm.